My role number is 5809-0001. My project partner is Kumari Preeti Singh. Her role number is 5809-0004. Uh, in this video, we'll be demonstrating our project for our course on computer organization and assembly language. Uh, our project is titled Voice Recognition Based on FFT. As the name obviously suggests, it's an app that can recognize people based on their voice uh, using the fast Fourier transform algorithm. Uh, if you see there, I have set up the app. I've set up the app on two platforms, uh, on Windows and, and Linux. Um, it works on only one of them though, I'll explain more later. For example, on Windows uh, I've already recorded my audio and so it should be able to recognize who I am this might take a few tries as it's not perfectly accurate and also I've been up all night so my voice is very rough one two three okay there you go first try so it recognized my voice and also the tone in which I was speaking. I recognized two of my tones, mid and low. Uh, I doubt that I can get to low because I don't really feel that good. One, two, three. Uh, you see, it didn't work that time. One, two, three. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really speak that low right now. Um, it happens but the point is that it does work um, it works around 70 to 80 percent of the time on this operating uh, on this system uh, the second system that I have set up is on the Raspberry Pi uh, I have a speaker and the basic setup is you push the button to record your audio and you release it when you're done. Uh, you need to record for at least one second. That's the minimum limit. Uh, if you're recognized, the left LED will light up. And if you're not, then the right LED will light up. Uh, if, you're, if you're not recognized and you want to add yourself to the database, you can press the right button. However, if you are recognized, and then you press the right button, then you will be deleted from the database. Now, let me show you an example run. So, uh, I have used the Pi4j library to control the GPIO setup. Uh, now the application is running. Uh, I will push the button to talk. Now, as I said earlier, there is a problem with this setup. The mic, uh, unfortunately, it's not working correctly. So the FFT's results, they, they deviate a lot and they're not accurate enough to be of any use. Uh, I'll demonstrate it right now. One, two, three. Uh, like you can see, it gave the result of 16 and 181, uh, which is the location of the peaks in the FFT of my sound wave uh, and as you can see the left LED lights up because it doesn't recognize me now if I try again it will give a different results again for example one two three this time it, it didn't really give any result because the mic didn't really pick up anything so yeah this this setup doesn't work accurately enough. It is coded properly, however. In theory, it should work with a better mic. Uh, that'll be all. Thank you.